Today's Science and Spirituality will be presented in French and English with subtitles in Arabic, Olassis or Vietnamese, Chinese, Croatian, English, French, German, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Thai. Téléspectateurs attentionnés, aujourd'hui, à l'émission Sciences et spiritualité, nous vous présentons la deuxième partie d'une entrevue avec la cinéaste, écrivaine et professeure de cinéma à l'Université de Montréal au Canada, le docteur Isabelle Reynaud, au sujet de son film « Mystical Brain » ou « Cerveau mystique ». Ce film a été lauréat 2008 du prix Gémeaux de l'Académie canadienne du cinéma et de la télévision dans la catégorie du meilleur documentaire science et nature. Mystical Brain suit un groupe de chercheurs de l'Université de Montréal alors qu'il mène une étude sur le rôle du cerveau dans les expériences transcendantales, parfois appelées communion avec Dieu ou samadhi, qui surviennent pendant la prière ou la méditation. Les participantes à cette étude étaient des religieuses de l'Ordre des Carmélites catholiques. Le film présente aussi le travail du neuroscientifique Dr. Richard Davidson de l'Université de Wisconsin-Madison aux États-Unis, qui a fait un travail similaire avec des moines bouddhistes tibétains. Le Dr. Reynaud, lauréate du prix Jutra du meilleur documentaire en 2002 et récipiendaire de deux prix Gémeaux, nous confie à présent comment elle a approché la réalisation de ce film. As a director, I wanted to keep that freshness, to keep that naivety, to keep my questions open so that a normal spectator, somebody who doesn't know much about this topic, could enter the subject and not feel intimidated by the fact that these were, you know, uh, quite advanced uh, scientific questions that were posed and in a very scientific context, such as the one in uh, Wisconsin-Madison with uh, Dr. Davidson's research, and uh, who works with Matsurika, who's a Buddhist monk, so quite well known, in fact. So uh, it's a film where I discovered many things, I learned a lot, and I'm really glad I made it. So. What would be the information you're trying to convey to the public through this movie? Uh, it would be the questions that uh, this research poses that's important to me. To make academia more accessible, that was very important to me. I wanted to show how researchers function on a day-to-day -day basis when they have an idea and they say, okay, we're going to have a research grant to go study Carmelite nuns. How do they go about Uh, achieving that. So I wanted the spectators to be allowed inside this world uh, of sciences. I wanted to be allowed in, inside it, and I, I'm really grateful that the researchers such as Mario Borrega, Davidson, uh, accepted me in their world uh, and answered my questions. Regardons à présent quelques extraits de son documentaire Mystical Brain. La vision actuelle de beaucoup de scientifiques dans le monde des neurosciences, c'est que les êtres humains sont des robots biologiques, assez déterminés, contrôlés par ce qui se passe au niveau des processus électriques chimiques de leur cerveau, également euh, déterminés en grande partie par ce qui se passe au niveau génétique, au niveau de leur gène. Donc, c'est quelque chose qu'on entend couramment, ça. Euh, et nous, ce qu'on montre, c'est que c'est pas ça c'est que l'être humain n'est pas un robot biologique. C'est une machine biologique extrêmement sophistiquée et complexe, mais la conscience humaine, l'esprit humain, c'est quelque chose de plus que simplement des euh, activités électriques ou chimiques dans le cerveau. How can we take people who are more vulnerable and improve their emotional dispositions? How can we change them to make them more resilient? How can we make people happier? Uh, and those are the kind of questions which uh, uh, have been of great interest to us, and that's where the work in meditation fits in, because meditation uh, is a family of procedures that are really designed to decrease human suffering uh, and to improve well-being. 
That's where the, these concepts of meditation and belief come in, because we in our Western society are so focused on health simply being the absence of disease. But health is much, much more than that. Uh, mais cette fois, ce qu'on va te demander, c'est de, de donner un compte rendu pendant ta méditation de l'intensité de ton expérience. We have been doing research with um, Buddhist monks and other uh, long-term practitioners. These are individuals who have spent a minimum of 10,000 hours in their life training their mind, uh, and it goes all the way up to about 62,000 hours. So these are the Olympic athletes of meditation. These are the people who um, are real experts. And it's like studying a chess master. that we're doing, however, is broader than just these long-term practitioners. We're also studying people who are just training to meditate. After just two months of training, there are very um, robust changes that we see in the brain as well as in the body that are positive. The researchers say that we have already found that there were changes very spectacular between the novices and the practitioners. Mais ce qu'on ne sait pas, on n'a pas encore démontré que c'est vraiment euh, la conséquence de la méditation. Donc c'est vraiment important maintenant, l'étape suivante pour nous, c'est de, de pouvoir euh, suivre au cours du temps euh, les changements induits par la méditation. Non mais là, tu vas demander pas mal à faire. Ouais. Mm -hmm. Cervelet est toujours là. Ouais. C'est intriguant, lui. Et là, on a 14 sujets sur 15. Fait que ce ouais, qu'on de... voit là, c'est pas tout à fait encore final, non. mais euh, pas mal final. Ouais. Ouais. C'est rare qu'on voit ça. Ouais, je suis ça, là, ça, c'est drain dans les sujets. Ouais, mm -hmm. hein. Deux régions qui sont associées aux émotions. Oui, hein, ça, c'était une des questions. Euh... Au retour de la pause, nous regarderons d'autres extraits de Mystical Brain et nous poursuivrons notre conversation avec la cinéaste Dr Isabelle Reynaud. Restez avec nous sur les ondes de Supreme Master Television. De retour à l'émission Science et spiritualité à Supreme Master Television. Notre sujet d'aujourd'hui est Mystical Brain, un documentaire de la cinéaste canadienne et professeure de cinéma à l'Université de Montréal, le docteur Isabelle Reynaud. Ce film examine la relation entre l'expérience spirituelle et le cerveau. Le docteur Reynaud nous parle maintenant des deux principaux scientifiques apparaissant dans ce film. What I liked about Mario Beauregard is that he was very honest about what motivated him to do this research. He was also very, I think, lucid about the, the, the limits of what he was trying to test. And he had an assistant who's now a, a doctor in, in neurosciences, Vincent Paquette, who was also very generous and open about explaining to the camera Uh, what they're trying to do, and and just being, you know, completely honest about the results. And with Dr. Davidson, what I found really interesting is that he had the capacity, because he, he has a lot of funding, to test his Buddhist monks over many, many years and really explore uh, in depth how the meditation affected their brain and how the, the technique of... Um, of uh, empathy uh, could alter the brain's chemistry. So that was really fascinating. Nous allons maintenant poursuivre avec d'autres extraits de Mystical Brain. C'est cet endroit-là où on va présenter euh, à chaque année ou à chaque deux ans euh, nos résultats les plus euh, intéressants, les choses les plus hâtes. How many people are you expecting? Well, I expect uh, from 32,000 to 38,000. People from uh, what countries? All over. All over the world. 
Ça, c'est certain. Donc, on a présenté les résultats préliminaires pour euh, 7 carmélites. So, right there, I use what we call a mysticism scale. Je suis journaliste à Science et Vie à Paris. Oui. Mental activity, per se, can influence the brain. And this very poster and many posters of a similar kind will be evidence to support that theory. And that's the kind of non-reductionist approach that Professor Beauregard and I find particularly conducive to the well-being of society. At the very moment that they are experienced, like the maximum peak of this musical experience, mm -hmm. how do you know that that very moment everything that you're showing is happening? We asked them to perhaps give us a sign, but oh. they told us that uh, if they would do that, it would break the state, they would you know, get out of the state. So, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it, it's hard, it's hard. Oh, it's very hard to test. Like I that. know. I think it's a one-shot deal, because it's, for them, uh, it's very difficult to do this. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Great challenge for us to study something that is very difficult to get a hold of. It's much easier for us to take a brain picture of somebody moving their finger and we can say, okay, we see the motor cortex, that's easy. But when somebody's doing meditation or prayer and they have all kinds of wonderful experiences and they feel connected to God and they feel their body having certain feelings, I mean, that's a very complex set of processes going on and trying to actually understand how that all fits together, both scientifically and spiritually, I think is going to provide us a tremendous amount of information and a whole new way of thinking about who we are as human beings. Ce documentaire fascinant a retenu l'attention et a soulevé un intérêt répandu au Canada. Dr. Reynaud nous parle maintenant de la réaction du public au film Mystical Brain. When the film came out here, uh, the, the... Well, it wasn't a big theater, but it was, it was full every night. <laughs> and um, what was interesting is that in, in the cinema, you had s people that came from sciences and people who had spiritual uh, um, activities themselves, whether they were nuns or uh, me people who did meditation. So we had an excellent dialogue after each screening about the relationships between science and religion, science and spirituality, uh, about the, uh, the coherence or non-coherence that we can find in between the two fields. And that fascinated me. So I'm very excited to know that uh, this film is gaining uh, interest and momentum um, because that's why we make movies. I want to touch people. If my work can touch people and resonate in them as having some part of truth uh, regarding their personal experience of life, well, I'll be a happy girl. <laughs> Do you think that the movies we produce and watch have a role to play in the world's spiritual progress? I hope so. I think that uh, spirituality and, and our ways of seeing life, uh, our ways of perceiving what's good and bad in, in our lives has to go through a personal experience. I think that real change for human beings can only be achieved is what they're seeing on the screen resonates with a personal experience that they can identify to. If we can make films that uh, touch people in their personal experience or open, broaden their understanding or point of view on a certain topic, well then I think movie making is really worth it. Nos sincères remerciements au Dr Isabelle Reynaud pour avoir présenté au monde entier un excellent film qui nous aide à mieux comprendre la relation entre l'esprit, le corps et la spiritualité. Que son excellent travail de cinéaste continue d'élever la conscience de notre monde dans le futur. Pour plus de détails au sujet de Mystical Brain ou pour le regarder en ligne, veuillez visiter le www.nfb.ca Bar oblique, film, bar oblique, mystical, souligné, brain. La version DVD de Mystical Brain est disponible au www.amazon.com. Merci, merveilleux téléspectateurs, d'avoir été des nôtres pour l'épisode d'aujourd'hui 
de sciences et spiritualité. À venir, parole de sagesse, après nouvelles d'exception. Que notre planète soit toujours unie dans l'amour. Thank you, wonderful viewers, for your company on today's episode of Science and Spirituality. Coming up next is Words of Wisdom after Noteworthy News. May our planet always be united by love. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.